In this video, we're going to complete example two. We're going to convert the following improper fractions this time into mixed numerals. So looking at question A, we can see we've got the improper fraction seven over two. How do we convert that to a mixed numeral? Well, I'm going to segue a little bit. I'm going to go to a new screen and let's take a fraction such as six over two. And I want you to understand that fractions work the same as division. Six over two is the same as writing six divide two. What does six divide two equal? Well, two fits into six three times. In case you're not sure why, two plus two plus two equals six. And we can see that we needed to add the two three times. You can also see this when I show you the diagram. You will notice that each circle has been cut into two pieces and I've colored in one, two, three, four, five, six of these sections. We can see that six over two is the same as the whole number three. What if we had a fraction such as nine over two? I, I know I can rewrite it using nine divide two. The problem is two doesn't really fit into nine. I, I know I can fit it in four times because two plus two plus two plus two, if I add the two four times, I get eight. Okay, but I wanted to get nine. I was one short. And some of you might remember you have a thing which is called a remainder. So we say that two fits into nine four times, but with a remainder of one, because I was one short of the nine. Now we're going to apply this to example two. Let's do question A. Seven over two can be rewritten as seven divide two. How many times does two fit inside of seven? Well, it fits in three times, except we're gonna have a remainder. We're gonna have a remainder of one. We were one short of seven. And the remainder is what your numerator will be. So let's do that now. Three remainder one converts to three with a numerator of one. Remembering that our denominator stays the same. We had a denominator of two, so our mixed numeral will also have a denominator of two we get three and a half. This will be our solution. And if you look at the image at right, you can see we've got three completely colored in circles, giving us our whole number of three, and then finally half colored in at the end. Let's now move on to question B. We can rewrite 11 over four as 11 divide four. How many fours fit into 11? Well, two fours make eight, and then we get a remainder of three. We were three short of the 11. Now we're going to write our mixed numeral. Our whole number will be two and our numerator will be three. Remembering that our denominator was originally four, so for our mixed numeral, our denominator will also be four. If we look at the diagram at right, you will notice that we have two completely colored in circles representing our whole number of two. And finally, a fraction of three quarters at the end, which is what we had here. Let's now move on to question C. 14 over six can be rewritten as 14 divide six. How many sixes fit into 14? Well, I can fit two of them. Two sixes make 12, but we were too short of the 14. We have a remainder of two. Our mixed numeral will have a whole number of two, and a numerator of two as well. Remembering that our improper fraction had a denominator of six, so our mixed numeral will also have a denominator of six. We can see that in the diagram at right, we've got two completely colored in circles, giving our whole number of two, and two sixths of a fraction at the end. Now we would also like to simplify our fraction when possible, and we can do that for question C we can half the fraction two over six and make one over three. Anyway, that concludes example two. 
Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.